During Dr. LaDonna Osborne's mission to Indonesia, a task force of inmates from a prison in the city of Wangapu skillfully constructed a platform for the festivals of prayer and miracles. After the three-day miracle evangelism festival concluded, the director of the Sumba Island Correctional Institution requested that Dr. Osborne stop by the Wangapu prison on the way to the airport and minister to the inmates. Dr. LaDonna immediately accepted. Her intense desire to help people and to minister to them whenever possible provided her with the energy necessary to quickly divert from her schedule so she could seize this opportunity and bring Christ to the 300 inmates at the Wangapu prison. When our mission team entered the meeting room, the entire prison population was quietly sitting cross-legged on the floor. The stage was set for God to show that there is no prison wall that His love and power cannot penetrate. Dr. LaDonna begins by expressing her deep appreciation to the inmates that were involved in the construction of the Festival of Prayers and Miracles platform. At the conclusion of her gospel message, much to the surprise of the prison staff, the inmates suddenly surrounded Dr. LaDonna. It was though each one of them was determined to make physical contact with her and be blessed by this woman of God. Good afternoon. Who helped us? We saw you working. Thank you for building a good platform. Terima kasih sudah bangun panggung yang bagus sekali. We're on our way to the airport. Kita dalam perjalanan mau pergi ke lapangan ke pesawat. But before we leave Sumba, we wanted to talk to you. Jadi sebelum kami tinggalkan Sumba, kami ingin menceritakan kepada saudara. And tell you that God loves you. Bahwa Allah itu mengasihi kita semua. I'm talking about the God who is good. Saya bicara tentang Allah yang memang baik adanya. The God who is not angry. Allah yang tidak marah kepada kita. The God who is love. Allah yang begitu mengasihi kita semua. The God who created people in the beginning because he wanted to have fellowship with people. Sebab Allah yang menciptakan awalnya manusia dan Allah ingin bersekutu bersama-sama dengan manusia. I don't know why you're in this place. Saya tidak mengerti kenapa kita berada di sini. God knows. Allah mengetahui semua. And no matter what you have done, God has never stopped loving you. Walaupun apapun yang sudah kita lakukan, Allah tidak pernah berhenti dalam mengasihi kita umat manusia. The Bible says, Alkitab katakan, that God came into the world as Jesus Christ. Di mana Allah datang ke dunia ini di dalam Yesus Kristus. And He did not come for good people. Dia datang bukan hanya untuk orang yang baik-baik. He came for sinners. Dia datang untuk semua umat manusia yang berdosa. The Bible says, Alkitab katakan, that if you want to know love, kalau engkau mau mengenal kasih, God teaches us about love. Maka Allah mengajar kita tentang kasih. Because while we were sinners, God came and gave His life. For us. Ketika kita masih berdosa, Allah datang dan Dia memberikan hidupnya buat kita. Now this is the God I'm talking about. Inilah Allah yang saya sedang bicarakan buat kita semua. He's the God who came to earth in the body that we know as Jesus Christ. Allah yang datang ke dalam dunia sebagai manusia di dalam Yesus Kristus. Jesus did not come to begin a new religion. Allah datang bukan untuk memulai agama yang baru. There are many religions in the world. Di dunia begitu banyak agama kepercayaan kepercayaan. But God came in Christ to save us from our sins. Tapi Allah datang buat kita untuk menyelamatkan kita dari dosa kita. The Bible says. Alkitab katakan that God loved the world so much. 
di mana Allah begitu mengasihi dunia ini. That He gave Himself in Jesus Christ. To die for the sins of the world. Dan dia memberikan yaitu Yesus Kristus untuk mati bagi semua orang berdosa. That whoever would believe on him would be saved. Sehingga siapa saja yang percaya kepadanya dia akan selamat. So to be saved means that you receive the life of God. Untuk selamat berarti kita menerima kehidupan Allah di dalam diri kita. You see, no religion offers you life on the inside. Tidak ada agama apapun di dunia yang sanggup memberi kehidupan Allah di dalam diri kita. But Jesus offers you his life. Tapi Yesus menawarkan hidupnya untuk bisa ada tinggal di dalam hidup kita. He wants to come here in this place and live with you. Dan dia mau datang di tempat ini dan tinggal bersama setiap kita. He wants to give you peace in your heart. Dia mau memberikan damai di hati kita. If you don't know Jesus, you don't have peace. Sebab engkau kalau belum kenal Yesus, engkau tidak memiliki damai itu. When you go to sleep at night, you you don't have peace. Waktu mau tidur malam tidak tenang hati karena tidak ada damai. You remember the things you've done. Sebab engkau teringat-ingat apa yang engkau telah lakukan. Some of you are angry because you're here. Beberapa saudara mungkin marah karena saudara ada di sini. Some of your families are not talking to you they're, they're turning away from you mungkin keluarga saudara mulai meninggalkan saudara i tell you god sees you and he loves you saya mau beritahu bahwa allah melihat saudara dan allah mencintai kita semua he has sent me for a long way to come and tell you you are you are who he loves jadi Allah sudah mengirim saya dari tempat yang jauh sekali untuk datang ketemu kita sekalian memberitahu bahwa Allah itu mengasihi kita semua. He doesn't love you because you're good. Allah mengasihi kita bukan karena kita sudah baik. He loves you because he is good. Sebab Allah mengasihi kita karena Allah sendiri itu baik adanya. So because Everyone in the world is diseased with sin. Setiap orang di dunia ini kena penyakit yang namanya dosa. And we have no way to save ourselves. Kita sendiri tidak mungkin menyelamatkan diri sendiri. God came to earth as Jesus and he died for our sin. Allah datang ke dunia sebagai Yesus Kristus, dia mati untuk dosa kita semua. The Bible teaches us that Jesus was the sacrifice to pay for all of our sins. Alkitab katakan Yesus telah membayar korban dengan mati di kayu salib untuk dosa semua manusia. And whoever believes on Jesus Christ, siapapun yang percaya kepada Yesus Kristus, receives the life of Jesus. Terima hidupnya Yesus dalam hidupnya and receives a new heart. Maka dia akan terima hati yang baru. This is the miracle that Jesus offers to you. Inilah mujizat yang ditawarkan oleh Yesus buat kita semua. And when he gives you a new heart, pada waktu Yesus memberi hati yang baru, you have peace with God. Maka saudara ada damai dengan Allah. You no longer have guilt for your sin. Engkau tidak akan lagi terus dalam rasa bersalah itu. You are no longer afraid of God. Engkau tidak lagi takut terhadap Allah. You know that you are a child of God. Saudara akan tahu saudara lah menjadi anak-anaknya Allah. And you receive a new beginning. Saudara mulai menerima perkara kehidupan yang baru. Listen to me. Dengarkan saya. Before you receive Jesus. Sebelum saudara mau terima Yesus, you are in bondage and in prison 
in your soul. Secara jiwa kita ada dalam penjajahan dan keterikatan. Whether or not you are physically behind walls and locked gates. Dan kita sadar kita ada di balik tembok-tembok ini. So the prison of the soul is the worst kind of prison. Sesungguhnya penjara yang terburuk bukan dari tembok-tembok tetapi hati yang ditawan oleh kuasa dosa. When you believe on Jesus and receive his life. Kalau nanti saudara mau terima dan percaya Yesus Kristus, even though you are physically in a prison, you are free spiritually. Walaupun saudara dalam kondisi fisik badan masih di penjara tapi saudara ada kebebasan di hati saudara. And for the time that you are still here, you will know that God is with you. Dan selagi waktu saudara ada di sini, saudara akan mengenal Allah itu pedulikan saudara. Every day will be filled with something good from God. Tiap hari Allah akan mengisi hidup saudara dengan perkara yang baik. It's wonderful how God comes into our bondage Jadi, and gives us His freedom. Begitu indah di mana Allah mau masuk dan membebaskan kita dari ketertawanan kita. For three days, we have been meeting people on the grounds of the festival here in Wanderpool. Tiga hari berturut-turut kita ada festival di lapangan di Waingapu. Have you heard some of the reports? Apa sudah sempat dengar laporan akan acara itu? Have you heard any news? Udah pernah dengar berita? Yes. Yes. So many people gathered every day. Tiap hari puluhan ribu orang berkumpul. And they listened as I gave them good words from God. Dan mereka mendengarkan karena saya menyampaikan perkara baik tentang Allah. And they believed. Dan mereka percaya. And they asked Jesus to come into their lives. Dan mereka meminta Yesus masuk dalam hidup mereka. And He did. Lalu itu dilakukannya. Many of them were evil people. Beberapa mereka orang-orang yang tidak baik. They were thieves. Ada pencuri. They have done all kinds of evil. Ada berbagai kejahatan. But God came to them because He loves them. Allah datang ke hidup mereka karena Allah mengasihi semua orang. And then we pray for sick people. Lalu kita doa buat orang sakit. There were so many sick people. Begitu banyak sekali orang yang sakit. So many were blind and crippled. Banyak yang matanya buta, yang lumpuh, timpang, tidak bisa berjalan. You see, God does not want people to be sick. Allah nggak mau orang-orang sakit. He wants their lives to be happy and peaceful. Sebab Allah menghendaki manusia ini bahagia dan penuh damai. But long ago, when the first man and woman turned away from God. Tapi sekian lama yang lalu-lalu saudara manusia pertama sudah tinggalkan Allah. They were taken as slaves by Satan. Sehingga mereka akhirnya diperbudak oleh setan. And so all people are in that bondage. Semua manusia dalam keterikatan yang sama oleh setan itu. Now the Bible tells us. Alkitab katakan that this enemy only comes to steal and kill and destroy. Dikatakan musuh itu hanya datang untuk mencuri, menghancurkan dan membinasakan. Only he wants children to be crippled. Hanya mereka lah yang mau arti musuh Allah orang-orang sakit dan timpang. Only the devil wants people to stumble in blindness. Or be deaf. Hanya setan yang mau orang-orang jadi buta dan tuli. That is not the will of God. Ini semua bukan kehendak Allah. So when the people believed on Jesus, pada waktu orang-orang percaya kepada Yesus, and they allowed Him to come into their lives, dan mereka mengizinkan Tuhan Yesus masuk dalam hatinya. When we pray for the sick. So many sick were healed. Dan waktu kita berdoa untuk orang sakit, begitu banyak orang sakit jadi sembuh. The things that are impossible for people are possible with God. Hal-hal yang bagi manusia mustahil terjadi, tapi bagi Allah tidak ada yang mustahil. One man came from Western Sumba. 
Ada seorang bapa dari Sumba Barat datang. He was a young man, like many of you. Dia orang yang masih muda seperti saya. He was laying on the mat. Dan dia terbaring di tempat tidur. He had never walked. Tidak pernah berjalan. He had a cancer that protruded out of his stomach. Di perutnya ada kanker dan itu sudah pernah dioperasi. And he had an IV in his hand, and they were holding a bottle. Dan orang ini dengan selang infus dan botol infus. He was so so skinny. I begitu kurus sekali bapa ini. But he believed on Jesus. Dan dia percaya kepada Yesus. I didn't know what was wrong with him. Saya sendiri tidak tahu apa yang terjadi kepada bapa ini. But God knew. Allah tahu itu. And that's what's important. Ini penting sekali. God knows everything about you. Allah mengenal setiap kita. So when we pray, ketika kita berdoa, He received Jesus. Dia terima Yesus. And then when we pray for the sick, He was immediately healed. Waktu kita doa orang sakit, seketika itu juga dia sembuh. I looked down, and that man was standing up. Saya lihat ke bawah, saya lihat orang itu sudah berdiri. His brother was holding the bottle. Saudaranya masih pegangin botol impus. And the young man was waving his arms. Dan si bapa ini, pamuk masih muda ini, goyangin tangan begini. You see, only God can do that. Hanya Allah yang mampu lakukan seperti itu. No religion can do that. Kepercayaan apapun tidak bisa lakukan itu. No doctor can cure every disease. Tidak semua doktor bisa sembuhkan sakit penyakit. But with God, all things are possible. Tapi bersama Allah tidak ada yang mustahil. So I wanted to just come by here to talk with you. Jadi saya untuk datang seketika mau beritahu saudara semua. To see you face to face. Untuk bisa lihat saudara semua. To look in your eyes. Untuk melihat mata semua saudara. And to tell you. You're important to God. Saya mau kasih tahu saudara semua orang-orang yang penting di hadapan Allah. He loves you. Dia Allah mengasihi saudara. He knows all about your circumstances. Dia tahu kondisi situasi setiap saudara. He knows about your families. Mereka Allah tahu apa yang terjadi dengan keluarga saudara. He knows everything that's going on in your heart. Allah tahu sampai kedalaman hati kita semua. And He has sent me to give you an invitation. Jadi saya di Tuhan kirim ke sini untuk menyampaikan undangan buat saudara. To tell you that if you will receive Jesus, He will come to you. Yaitu kalau saudara mau terima Yesus, Yesus mau datang dalam hidup saudara. He will give you peace with God. Dan Dia akan memberi damai di hadapan Allah. And He will forgive every sin. Dan Dia akan mengampuni segala dosa kita. And He will give you peace in your heart. Dan Dia akan memberi damai di hati kita. He will heal your diseases. Dan bahkan Dia mau menyembuhkan sakit penyakit kita. And He will give you a new heart and a new life. Dan Dia mau memberi saudara hati yang baru dan hidup yang baru. So I want to pray for you. Makanya saya mau berdoa buat saudara semua. Do you want me to pray for you? Bisakah saya berdoa buat bapa-bapa sekalian? Bisa. You want to receive Jesus? Lay your hand on your heart. Jadi kalau bapa-bapa semua yang mau terima Yesus, taruh tangan di dada saudara. Don't be ashamed. Jangan malu saudara. Don't worry what others will think about you. Jangan khawatir atau pikir bagaimana orang bilang sama saya. Everyone must make a personal decision to receive Jesus. Setiap pribadi perlu ambil keputusan untuk terima Yesus. Jesus said, Yesus katakan, If you will come to me, kalau engkau datang kepada aku, I will not cast you out. Aku tidak menolak engkau pergi. Jesus said. Yesus katakan, if you can believe, kalau engkau bisa percaya, all things are possible. Segala perkara bisa terjadi. So as I pray for you, I want you to believe. Sewaktu nanti saya berdoa, saya minta saudara bisa percaya. Believe that God has sent me with His words for you. Percaya Tuhan sudah kirim saya dengan perkataan Allah buat kita semua. Believe that He loves you. 
Percaya Allah mengasihi setiap saudara. Believe that he hears you when you invite him to come into your life. Percaya dia mendengar doa saudara pada saat saudara minta Yesus masuk di hati saudara. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. Saya mau bimbing saudara di dalam doa. And I want you to repeat this prayer with all of your heart, right out loud. Saya minta saudara ulangi ucapan doa saya dengan suara yang nyaris. Close your eyes. Mari tutup mata. Say thank you, Jesus, for your love. Mari katakan terima kasih Yesus untuk kasihmu. Terima kasih Yesus untuk kasihmu. Thank you for sending good words to me. Terima kasih sudah beri perkataan yang baik kepada saya. Terima kasih sudah beri perkataan yang baik kepada saya. I believe that you love me. Saya percaya Tuhan mengasihi saya. I believe that you died for my sins. Saya percaya Tuhan mati buat dosa saya. And I believe that God raised you from the dead. Dan saya percaya Tuhan sudah bangkit dari kematian. Dan saya percaya Tuhan sudah bangkit dari kematian. I believe Jesus that you are alive today. Saya percaya Yesus hidup hari ini. Saya percaya Yesus hidup hari ini. Now come into my heart. Sekarang masuklah ke dalam hati saya. Sekarang masuklah ke dalam hati saya. Give me your life. Berikanlah hidupmu bagiku. Berikanlah hidupmu bagiku. I turn away from my old life of sin. Saya tinggalkan semua dosa saya. Saya tinggalkan semua dosa saya. I receive your forgiveness. Saya terima pengampunanmu Tuhan. Saya terima pengampunanmu Tuhan. Now I receive you by faith. Saya terima engkau dengan iman. Saya terima engkau dengan iman. Thank you that I have peace with God. Terima kasih saya bisa ada damai di hati. Thank you that I have joy in my heart. Terima kasih saya ada sukacita di hati. Terima kasih saya sukacita di hati. From this day, I belong to you. Mulai hari ini saya milik Tuhan. Mulai hari ini saya milik Tuhan. From this day, I am a son of God. Mulai hari ini saya adalah anak-anak Allah. Mulai hari ini saya adalah anak-anak Allah. I serve no other God. Saya tidak melayani ilah yang lain. Saya tidak melayani ilah yang lain. Because I have received. Life of God through Jesus Christ. Karena saya sudah terima hidup Allah dalam Yesus Kristus. Karena saya sudah terima hidup Allah dalam Yesus Kristus. Thank you, Jesus. Terima kasih Yesus. Terima kasih Yesus. I love you. Saya mengasihi engkau. Saya mengasihi engkau. I am not ashamed of you. Saya tidak akan malu terhadap engkau. Saya tidak akan malu terhadap engkau. Today is my new beginning. Hari ini permulaan yang baru dalam hidup saya. Hari ini permulaan yang baru dalam hidup saya. Amen. Amen. Today is July. Hari ini Juli tanggal dua puluh. That is your new birthday. Itulah hari kelahiran baru sudah. You see, when you receive Jesus. Pada saat saudara terima Yesus, you're born again. You're born again. Saudara lahir baru. I can't explain it. Saya nggak bisa jelaskan. But it has happened to me. Itu terjadi buat saya. It's happened to all of us. Terjadi juga buat semua kita. And now it has happened to you. Dan sekarang juga buat kita semua. Now God is your father. Allah adalah bapa saudara. Now we are brother and sister in one family. Kita sekarang jadi keluarga sebagai satu keluarga. The Bible says all of heaven rejoices when even one person on earth receives Jesus. Dikatakan Alkitab, sorga bersorak dan pesta 
Walaupun ada satu jiwa sekalipun yang kembali kepada Allah. So today heaven is having a big party. Karena itu hari ini di surga ada pesta yang besar. Do not be ashamed of your past. Jangan malu, saudara-saudara. Enjoy life with Jesus. Nikmati hidup bersama Yesus. Amen. Now I want to encourage you. Saya mau membangun, mendorong saudara. When you receive Jesus, you're beginning a new relationship. Pada waktu saudara terima Yesus, saudara mulai ada hubungan yang baru. He becomes your best friend. Maka Yesus menjadi sahabat terbaik saudara. So learn how to have a relationship with Jesus. Karena itu belajar bagaimana bisa berhubungan dengan Yesus. For example, contoh, talk to him every day. Tiap hari bicara sama dia. We call that prayer. Itu kita sebut doa. Now, don't make prayer complicated. Jangan bikin kacau-kacau doa itu. Prayer is conversation with God. Doa itu percakapan kita dengan Allah. So, for example, after we leave, contoh setelah kita pergi, you can say, "Thank you, Jesus." That you sent those people to help me. Misalnya, saudara bilang terima kasih Yesus, engkau sudah kirim orang itu untuk saya. That's prayer. Itu doa. You can say thank you that when they left, you stayed. Terima kasih Yesus, kami bisa pergi, tapi Yesus ada bersama saya. When you go to bed tonight, kalau malam ini tidur, say thank you Jesus that you're with me. Terima kasih Yesus, engkau bersama aku. While I sleep. You watch over me and my family. Selama aku tidur, jagalah saya dan keluarga saya. Thank you that you never leave me. Terima kasih Yesus, engkau tak pernah tinggalkan saya. And you will sleep very peaceful. Sehingga kau tidur dengan nyenyak. And when you wake up in the morning, besok pagi kalau bangun, say Good morning, Jesus. Selamat pagi Tuhan Yesus. In the room that you share with other men. Di ruangan di mana saudara bersama kawan yang lain. In the morning, say, hey, let's all say it together. Mari, hey, mari kita katakan bersama-sama. Good morning, Jesus. Terima, selamat pagi, Yesus. Try it. Coba itu. It will put a smile on your face. Sehingga ada senyum tertawa di wajah kita. Say to Jesus. Katakan sama Yesus. Say thank you that you're with me today. Terima kasih Yesus ada sama-sama saya. I will not be lonely today. Saya enggak sendirian lagi. Because you're with me. Karena Tuhan ada bersama saya. Today is a good day. Ini hari yang baik. Because you're with me. Karena Tuhan ada bersama saya. Thank you that you love. Terima kasih Tuhan mengasihi saya. Thank you that you take care of me. Terima kasih Tuhan peduli buat saya. Thank you that you give me strength. To live for you. Terima kasih Tuhan beri kekuatan saya bisa hidup untuk Tuhan. And every day you will learn that you're you're visiting with Jesus all through the day. Sehingga tiap hari saudara belajar untuk berhubungan atau berkomunikasi dengan Yesus. And you will have such peace in your heart. Dan engkau akan memiliki damai sedemikian. Do you have Bibles? Kalau saudara punya Alkitab, does anyone have a Bible? Apa ada Alkitab? Ada. So, if you have a Bible, gather others around and read it together every day. Jadi kalau ada Alkitab bersama-sama bacalah Alkitab. Read the Gospel of John. Bacalah Injil Yohanes. And read it with others who are here. Baca bersama dengan kawan-kawan saudara. And you will find that you'll be learning about this Jesus Christ. Dan saudara akan menemukan belajar bagaimana Yesus Kristus itu. He will begin talking to you as you read the Word of God. Dan Yesus mulai bicara kepada saudara lewat firman Tuhan yang saudara baca. And I encourage you. To talk to one another about your new faith in Jesus. Dan saya menganjurkan saudara saling menceritakan pengalaman iman saudara satu dengan yang lain. Some of you have already known about Jesus. Beberapa saudara sudah mungkin tahu tentang Yesus. Now you have an opportunity to help these who are just beginning this new life. Dan saudara yang sudah lama tahu bisa menolong yang baru menemukan hidup yang baru itu. 
When you talk to your family, tell them that Jesus has come and you have peace. Dan kalau saudara ketemu keluarga saudara, beritahu bahwa saya sudah punya damai. And when you get out of prison, kalau saudara sudah keluar dari penjara, don't go back to the old way. Jangan melakukan kembali hal-hal yang lama. Live your life as a thank you to God for what He has done for you. Jalani hidup sebagai syukur kepada Allah apa yang Allah sudah lakukan. He will give you a new beginning. Dia akan memberikan perkara yang baru. You will succeed in your life. Engkau akan berhasil kelak dalam hidup saudara. You will have families and you will have love. Saudara bisa ada kasih dan ada keluarga dalam kasih. God wants you to enjoy all of His blessings. Allah mau kita menikmati semua berkat-berkatnya. He only asks that you trust Him. Dia hanya minta saudara percayalah kepada Allah. Will you do that? Mau saudara lakukan itu? Mau. No. Are any of you sick? Apa ada yang sakit? How many of you are sick? God wants to heal you. Allah mau menyembuhkan semua bapak-bapak. I don't know what your sickness is. Saya tidak tahu sakit apa, saudara-saudara. But God knows. Tapi Allah tahu. I want to ask you a question. Saya mau tanya satu pertanyaan. Do you believe that God wants to heal you? Apa saudara percaya bahwa Allah mau sembuhkan saudara? Because see, the Bible says. Lihat Alkitab katakan. That the same God who takes away your sin. Allah yang sama yang sudah mengampuni melepaskan dosa kita. Is the God who takes away your sickness. Itu juga hal yang sama Allah itu juga yang membebaskan kita dari sakit penyakit. Now when God heals you, will you tell what He has done? Kalau Allah menyembuhkan saudara, maukah saudara menceritakan itu? Don't keep it a secret. Jangan simpan terus kisah itu. Tell what God does to you. Beritahu, ceritakan apa yang Allah lakukan. If you can, lay your hand wherever you're sick. Di mana pun saudara rasa sakit, tumpangin tangan di tempat saudara sakit. I can't touch you, but you can touch yourself. Saya tidak meletakkan tangan kepada saudara, tapi saudara bisa tumpangin tangan sendiri di tubuh saudara. If you if you can't touch the place, just put your hand on your head. Kalau saudara tidak bisa taruh tangan di bagian sakit, cukup taruh di sini. If you're sick, lay your hand on your own body. Sekarang setiap yang sakit taruh tangan saudara. Kalau di dada, taruh di dada. Dan kalau ada beberapa sakit, saudara taruh di sini saja. You said you're sick. Yeah. Then put your hand on your head. Taro, saudara, tangan. If you're sick in your body, put your hand on your head. Kalau saudara sakit dalam tubuh saudara, taro tangan saudara. Because the Bible says we lay hands on the sick and the sick recover by the power of God. Alkitab katakan kita menumpangkan tangan atas orang sakit, orang sakit itu menjadi sembuh. Now, Father, look at these who are suffering. Bapa lihatlah semua saudara-saudara kami yang menderita sakit. You are able to forgive sin. Engkau mampu mengampuni dosa. And that is very difficult. Dan itu sangat sukar sekali. So you can certainly heal these sick bodies. Dan engkau pasti bisa juga menyembuhkan semua tubuh yang sakit ini. You have said that you are the God who can do anything. Engkau lah Allah yang sudah berkata bahwa engkau bisa melakukan segala perkara. Jesus always healed the sick. Sebab Yesus selalu menyembuhkan orang sakit. Everyone who came to Him sick received healing. Setiap orang yang sakit datang pada Yesus, mereka menerima kesembuhan. Now touch these. Men, Lord, who are suffering in their bodies. Sekarang Tuhan jama setiap pribadi tubuh-tubuh yang sakit ini. Demonstrate your love and your great power. Nyatakan kasihmu dan kuasamu yang besar. Do for them what is impossible by people. Lakukanlah buat mereka walaupun bagi orang-orang sulit ini terjadi. I command every Spirit of disease and infirmity to leave these men. And I perintahkan segala roro penyakit dan kelemahan robo tinggalkan semuanya dari tubuh mereka ini. According to the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Berdasarkan kuasa di dalam nama Yesus Kristus. I speak 
healing to these men. Sekarang saya katakan terjadi kesembuhan buat semua mereka. Manifest your life in them now. Nyatakan hidupmu Yesus sekarang dalam Thank hidup mereka. Jesus. Terima kasih Yesus. You are the healer. Engkau penyembuh kesembuhan. You have heard our prayer. Engkau sudah dengar doa kami. And you answer according to our faith. Dan engkau menjawab berdasarkan iman kami masing-masing. Amen. Amen. Now, you who were sick. <coughs> saudara yang sakit. Believe that Jesus is healed. Percaya Tuhan Yesus sudah sembuhkan saudara. Now I want to ask you a question. Saya mau tanya pertanyaan ini. I know that some sicknesses You don't know immediately if you're healed. Ada beberapa penyakit kita sukar untuk tahu apa dia sudah seketika itu jadi sembuh atau enggak. But other sicknesses you can tell immediately if you're healed. Tapi ada penyakit-penyakit bisa langsung tahu itu langsung sembuh. The pain goes. Sakitnya mulai hilang. The tumor leaves. Tumor mulai kempes hilang. The back pain leaves. Pinggang yang sakit hilang. The arm. Move again. Dan tangan yang kaku bergerak biasa lagi. So, I want to know of you who have those kind of problems. Tell us what God has done for you. Jadi beberapa saudara kalau ada seperti tadi penyakit itu, saudara nyatakan beritahu kita. This man was praying for his back. Tadi berdoa buat pung sakit apa ya? Oh, have a broken, a broken something. Yeah. Was it painful? Tadi sakit sekarang bagaimana? Now is no more bed. No pain. No pain. Yes. No pain. Are you sure? Sudah. Uh huh. Enak. Yeah. Yes. Do any of you know that this man had a problem? Ya, saudara tahu bapa ini ada masalah ini. Is he telling me the truth? Ya, betul. Huh? Is it true? Yeah. God bless you. Ya, God has healed you. Allah sudah menyembuhkan bapa. Ya, Tuhan berkati bapa. You say God loves people. Lihat Allah mengasihi kita semua. What What has happened to others of you? Bagaimana yang lain? Ada alami perubahan? Ya. Siapa yang ada? What has happened? Ah, Papa tell us. What happened? Tell us. Is it breathing? Sekarang perutnya enak. Bernafas agak lelah. Oh, now the voice where? That's okay. So you know God has touched you. Hallelujah. Who else has God touched? Tell us. Bring tahu. Was your stomach in pain? Tadinya perut sakit. Sekarang? No pain. Sudah tidak ada lagi. Pain's gone. Gone. It's all gone. Sudah, sudah ya. All gone. Sudah. Semua. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What else? Yeah. Tell us. Tell us what happened. Huh? Oh, now I'm fresh, my boy. Oh, good. That's a good testimony. Yeah, that's a good testimony. Yeah, he feels strong and fresh in his heart. What else? Tell us. What else? Ah, tell us what happened. Happy? Ready? Kepala sakit? Yeah. Ready? Sekarang? So good. Sudah hilang? Ya. Thank you, Jesus. Terima kasih, Yesus. Hallelujah. What else? Mana lagi? Ya, apa lagi? Ada ni. Do you had it? Tadi, yes, had it. Sekarang sudah hilang? Ya. It's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Terima kasih. You see, God loves you. Lihat Allah mengasihi. What happened to you? Tell us. Coba. What happened? Ada lagi? Ya. Ah, thank you. Tell us. Double problem. Sekarang bagaimana? Sudah enak? Now it's no no. You see God heals people today. Lihat hari ini Tuhan juga sembuhkan saudara saudara. This is the proof that Jesus is not dead. Dia saudara ini bukti bahwa Yesus itu hidup. Because it is His power that heals you. Sebab kuasanya yang sembuhkan saudara. Do you want to tell us anything? Ada lagi? Ya, tell us. Sekarang? Oh, now it's pain gone. Pain is gone. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Any pictures of these smiles? Who? What else can you tell us? 
Mana lagi? Ini depan. Ini depan. Oh. And now no pain. No pain. Thank you, Jesus. Terima kasih. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. God bless you. What happened to you? Pinggang. Sudah enak sekarang. Now it's good. What was it? Just drink. Back pain. But now it's good. God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. What happened to you? Lega, tadinya berapa? How many of you had pain when you came in, but now the pain is gone? Berapa saudara yang waktu tadi sebelumnya sakit sekarang sakitnya sudah hilang? Let me see. Look, look. You see, God has touched you. Terima kasih Yesus. Terima kasih Yesus. Thank you that you love me. Terima kasih Tuhan mengasihi saya. Terima kasih Tuhan mengasihi saya. Now I know you're alive. Sekarang saya tahu Tuhan itu hidup. Sekarang saya tahu Tuhan itu hidup. So my life belongs to you, Lord Jesus. Sekarang hidupku milikmu Yesus. Sekarang hidupku milikmu Yesus. Amen. Amen. Now remember how I prayed for you. Ingat bagaimana tadi saya berdoa. The next time that you have pain. Jadi kalau nanti kapan-kapan kalau ada rasa sakit. Gather a few who believe in Jesus around you and pray. Dan beberapa orang kumpul berdoa bersama. God will heal you. Allah mendengar doa saudara juga. You see, I told you when I leave. Jesus stays. Adi saya beritahu saya pergi tapi Yesus ada bersama saudara. Hallelujah. I will remember you then. Saya mau ingat semua bapa bapa. Thank you for allowing me. Terima kasih bisa izinkan saya ketemu saudara saya. I will pray for you every day. Saya mau berdoa tiap hari buat bapa bapa. And the life of Jesus will continue to be fulfilled in you. Dan hidup Yesus akan terus Menuhi kehendak kita dalam masa. Amen. Bye bye. Bye bye. God bless.
God bless you. God is with you. God is with you. Yes, He is. He sees you. Touch them, Lord. As I touch them, may they know you have touched them. Thank you, Father. Thank you for these men of God. With peace. With purpose. With God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you my God. Thank you, Jesus, that you for this in these latter years, <laughs> in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Would you do her, Papa? That is my class in Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Continue to give him, Lord. Touch him. Do a wonder among his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. 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 God bless you, sir. God loves you. God bless you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Every life precious to you. New beginnings for these young men. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you, Papa. God loves you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. But last but not least, not quite last. You're included. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Then shall the king say, I was in prison, and you came to me. Insomuch as you have done it to one of the least of these my brothers, you have done it to me. Matthew 25, 34, 36, and 40. We have shared this marvelous experience with you via video so that you can share with us in what God did among these precious men in the prison of Wangapu. The thing that we observe through this experience is that if we as believers are willing to divert ourselves just a little bit and share what we know of Jesus with people who don't know how good He is and how eagerly He wants to come into their lives, we can impact the lives of people. So I know you've been moved just as we were moved in Wangapu. As you've been watching, I am thinking that your own heart was reaching out to say, oh, thank you, Jesus, for your love for people. Have you accepted him? Have you accepted him into your life so that you are confident that you're his child? Why not receive him right now? It's so easy. You saw how these men, who appeared in the beginning to not even be interested in this foreign lady who came to talk to them, how they began to brighten up as they heard the good news of Christ. It's easy. They reached out. They began to say, oh, this God mean, well, wants something good in my life. I want to know Him. Let me pray for you so that you can be confident that you are a child of God and that His blessings belong to you. And if there's something in your body that's sickness or pain or discomfort, just as the Lord healed those who were sick in the prison, He will likewise heal you. So let's just pray together and believe that the same Christ who visited the prisoner is the Christ who visits you now. Just say this prayer after me and say it with faith. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you love me, that you died for me, that you rose from the dead for me, that you come into my life now to be my Savior, to be my Lord, to be my friend. Thank you. I accept you now, and I give you my life just as I receive your life now. And if you're sick in your body, say this with me. Thank you, Jesus, that you are my healer, that you carried away my disease and my pain, and by your stripes I am healed. Now, receive your healing. Just as you receive Christ and His life, receive your miracle. It's just that easy. Now, if you want to know more about how to live this wonderful Jesus life or how to benefit from all of the blessings that belong to you, I suggest that you visit our website, osborne.org, and look through some of the items on the bookstore. See how 
the good news of what is prepared for you in print or through recorded messages or other DVDs can come to you and minister to you God's wonderful peace and provide His blessings to you in your own life. We thank you so much for allowing us to come into your life, to be part of your life. You know this partnership idea that you and we could be connected is God's idea. We are partners with Him in His work of helping people. It was through partners who invested of their own resources that supplied all the needs that we had to visit the prisoner in Wangapu. So those who gave receive the same reward in heaven as we who went in the flesh. The scripture says that Jesus instructed those or gave, gave encouragement to those during the last judgment. He said, you're blessed because when I was in prison, you came and you visited me. And his disciples says, when did we ever see you in prison and visit you? The king said, Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers or my sisters, you did it to me. So let's continue to partner together. You can send something today. Just go to our website, osborne.org, and send a gift representing your life that then will go with us to the people who are waiting to hear the good news of Jesus. We love you. God bless you.